Okay, thanks for jumping in. Let's get started. So here what I've done is, this is the same mockup as the one previously, like pre-HTML5. And what I've done is I've replaced the divs with the appropriate sections that help lay out the page semantically. So we have the header and within that header, we have a nav. We had the main section with this gray box here. And within that section, we have a, a section here that contains another grouping. In this case, it's our H1 and the image tag. And then below that section, we have another section. And this section will represent where we'll put our articles. So you will have an article section, right? A division for articles within this section, which is in the main part of your page. The thing to remember about main is the content that's within it, it just should be unique from the content that is in another page. And then I go on to proceed with some other sections that actually contain some other articles. So within this overall section, I have an aside, which is also inside of the main section. And then down here we have the footer and within the footer, it has its own navigation and it may have an address or other elements or various details. So these semantic sections help break up a page a little bit more nicely and they play well with you know screen readers and accessibility content and as you can see it's quite easier to read than having the div so i have a footer you can clearly see that by the tag within that footer i have navigation within this main section i have all of this content that is unique to the page that i'm going to create in this case this is going to be a blog page according to the w3c if you want to follow the specs on that one they say that you know you shouldn't really put this main section inside of these other semantic divisions so you shouldn't really find main inside of section or nav and then you have main inside of that or header and main inside of that so i think if you want to pass validation uh, the structure has specific guidelines on how to set up the semantic layout for a page so let's just take a look at some of this stuff inside of the editor and I'll show you how to lay this out. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you, you know, like just because you have this semantically laid out in a specific way, when you add your own unique styles to this, you will probably get a different representation of what a blog page should look like, but it still can kind of adhere to the structure that we set up here. So, I mean, you could style these articles a little bit differently is what I'm saying. You could add some styling that's unique around these sections. This image will maybe be different for you or something along those lines. Your header or your main section here might be a little bit different. The main background could be a different color. So the layout does give a good guide to what we're gonna create and what you can lay out via HTML. Note that, you know, the footer could have its own design and unique style, and these things can all be styled later on when we get around to, you know, CSS. I'm gonna use Tailwind on this one when I style this. I'm not gonna actually walk through all of the styling or anything like that, but I want you guys to see what is possible by just, you know, using HTML to lay out your content and then styling that. So let's just jump into our editor and get this set up. And that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like the video if you found this useful. Leave your comments and thoughts below. Take care and I will see you next time.